would be very low maintenance. You won't only have to refill it occasionally. But the fish we chose for this project were the six to eight inch mixed koi, which is 14 fish for $200, which is about $14 a fish. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about landscaping. So we know that this is going to be um, kind of a private pond. We don't necessarily want the entire public running to this pond, you know, because it's mostly for employees and potentially big members. So we wanted something that would kind of say, hey, there's a pond here. So we're thinking about removing um, these rocks down here and creating some flower beds. So when you're looking at flowers, we want to think about a couple of things. Um, when are they going to bloom? Um, how often are they going to bloom? And um, what kind of things are they going to attract? And how much maintenance do you have to do with them? So um, for this type of location, for as low maintenance as possible, you would want something that's going to bloom all summer long so that it will last the longest as opposed to late spring or late summer. And then also um, uh, you wanted to look at perennials so that they'll keep blooming every single year and that you won't have to keep replacing them every single year, of course. And our estimated cost is $250 for perennials and soil, which is kind of a one-time fee. You can obviously replace plants as you go. And um, we were also considering um, a, a, ramp, a handicap accessible ramp that would extend from here um, down to the patio seating area, um, which would be paved in brick, which we estimated to be about $300 for bricks plus labor. And then moving on to trees, we would like to add trees around this uh, patio area so that it creates a little bit more privacy and the people in the lot aren't just staring at you while you're eating your meal or working on your stuff. So um, we're looking, um, when you're considering trees for the area, you want to think about low uh, fo foliage. So um, obviously in the fall, we live in Iowa and it's a tree is a tree, so you're going to have to rake it sometime. But um, you want to make sure you don't get trees like pine cones and that kind of thing. Um, I chose um, some red soft maples and also weeping willow. Weeping willow because they look cool <laughs> around ponds um, and they're low maintenance. And then also uh, red maple because it adds a lot of color. Um, and so we estimate that would be like about $300 for three trees if you get them at about six or seven feet. Um, and weeping willows and red maples grow about six to seven feet a year, so they are pretty fast growing trees. Um, and they add shade as opposed to like if you had umbrellas when you're sitting down, umbrellas can be extremely high maintenance. And so after uh, the first couple years of watering the trees, um, you wouldn't have to deal with them. And then we also have plants around the patio area such as hostas and butterfly bush. It's just like the name butterfly bush, they attract butterflies. Um, and we estimate that would be about $100 just to kind of um, make it more seamless between the patio and pond. Then we have a pond, pond, uh, pond walkway. So there we go. The, uh, the pathway that's now covered with the black tarp, which you can kind of see right now, we want to add uh, uh, rocks, landscaping rocks, as well as stepping stones that people can walk alongside the pond with. And we would also need a railing. Um, we're thinking about adding steps. Obviously, you wouldn't have to just jump up here. Um, um, down this side. So our estimated cost for that is about $1,500. And here's some pictures of what we'd like to do with the rocks and the stepping stones, as well as uh, smaller solar panel lighting. And we didn't find that you would need um, like big solar panel lights because obviously you want it to be a little bit more private. It draws less attention and hopefully um, bank workers aren't working too late the night. <laughs> Okay, so our design for like the, the outdoor seating area is like we have three tables and a bench swing and those are the steps that Katie talked about putting the flower beds on. And uh, the swing bench would just be like an alternative to the regular seating. Uh, this, for the tables and chairs, we chose light, positive, bright colors that would promote positivity and also add to a visual appeal. Um, the color of the chairs wouldn't attract as much sun as like a dark metal and so they wouldn't they wouldn't get hot when you were sitting. And then we also talked about um, the colorful, or the, the seating, oh, they're, made up, they're made up of metal. And so they're heavy, but so they won't blow away, but they're easy to move in and out if that were necessary. Uh, the bench swing would be a comfortable alternative to um, the metal chairs. And it 
doesn't have cushions on it, so it wouldn't be a problem with the weather and having to move the cushions in and out. And it's a three it's a three seat bench with like the canopy over top, uh, providing shade for when those trees aren't providing shade over the top of the tables. Um, and with the wide and sturdy base, it kind of ensures that it's not going to blow away and it's not it won't tip over. Okay, so this is about clean waste. Um, we want to implement recycling and composting. Um, with recycling, I think it promotes an overall healthy and clean lifestyle for people. They're going to be more encouraged to use like reusable containers rather than Ziplocs that they're just going to throw away. But recycling is great. Um, it's great for our environment. It has an overall um, good effect. It just is like a, kind of like a trickle down effect. Um, with like cans, we were thinking about possibly um, recycling those and getting profit for them because you know you can bring cans somewhere and get profit. And then for composting, um, a lot of people I ma would imagine would be like eating their lunches out there. So by cost composting the excess food, um, that also helps with the green lifestyle that we're going for. Um, there's places within the community who do composting that we could connect with if this went further. Um, so we just thought that that would be a good touch. Okay, well, it looks like that's our last slide. We just wanted to thank you guys for listening to our idea. I hope that you guys like it, and we just wanted to thank you again for giving us this opportunity. Thank cool. you. Thank, thank you. you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, girls. Cool.